Woo! This week was fire. Let's go over week one Lambda School. Mm, maybe I don't understand it. All right, guys, so thanks a lot for joining me again today. Uh, wanted to actually go over the entire first week of Lambda, and oh my god, I mean, Tuesday, uh, I think that that Tuesday ended up taking a lot of souls with it. Um, probably whatever, uh, whatever positive notions you had at that point kind of went away. But, you know, it redeemed itself by Wednesday, Thursday, and then today. Um, it was definitely doing a lot of stuff that a lot of people were not used to. Uh, one recommendation I will make to you guys is if you plan on going to any boot camp, not just Lambda, but any boot camp, get comfortable with uh, positioning in CSS. But I mean what that is, if you got a block over here, get comfortable moving something over here next to it which is basic CSS because that thing is a monster. So just positioning things the way you want in a website can be a little crazy. Uh, we had to, on Tuesday, we had to build a website based on a design that they gave us. And they generally only give you about three, about three hours to work on this stuff, which seems like a lot. But uh, when you start seeing things go in directions that you don't want them to go and then stack up on top of each other, the numbers on, on the clock just start kind of ticking down. So uh, get comfortable with that, I'd say. And... Uh, also, give Flexbox a try. It can save you a lot of time in the long run. It's good to know how to do it manually, but you know, I personally did not touch Flexbox until now. Uh, I, I thought it was just another library or something like uh, like Bootstrap, so I didn't know any different. I, I didn't know that it was just a module of CSS. So um, all that means is you don't have to import anything to use it. You just say display flex and then from there it'll do its thing. But it's good to understand how it works beyond that. You know, how do you apply the flex and to what elements do you need to apply them to? So that's one of those tricky things that kind of gets everybody. You know, you tend to start applying this uh, display flex to everything just to see what moves. Um, so yeah, Tuesday uh, was probably the hardest day of the week. Uh, Wednesday was when we learned flex and then Thursday we kind of just applied everything that we knew and, and we did uh, we did a full day of just git and so uh, on that day all we did the entire day was git. Uh, personally uh, I got into a, a zoom channel with a few other people in, in my class and we came up with our own project just to cement the things that we knew and get ready for the sprint challenge on Friday so we built our own little website just a mock website based on uh, website that was already up on on the internet and so we, we did a good job with that um, I think I completed about 90% of it in about an hour or so so that was pretty good I was kind of just running through it um, and then today was the actual sprint challenge so what they do is they have a repo up on github and you have three hours to uh, uh, fork it clone it and then uh, edit it and do all, all the stuff that you have to do in order to make it look like the design on top of uh, some extra stuff like making another page so today I actually made a total of three pages I made a, a, a index page an about page and a services page and that was just part of the stretch uh, they also want you to add some animations and link it link them all to each other so real cool stuff uh, we didn't have to do any responsive design to it yet. That actually comes up next week. And we actually uh, already got the material for that because we have Monday off due to Labor Day. And so they want us to try to get ahead and uh, do it either today or over the weekend, anytime before Tuesday. That way it's already done. Um, and so that's, you know, I mean, that's pretty cool. You get to have three days off, but at the same time, you know. Uh, you don't necessarily get the day off just because you still have to do that work uh, otherwise you're behind and I personally prefer that way rather than them just completely saying hey we're just gonna back you up another day and you know I have to stay in the, in the school for another day so but if this week is a representation of Lambda for the next seven months I think it's gonna be great because I saw a lot of people that were struggling and then, uh, I mean, some people were talking about like, you know, hey, put me in the next cohort and things like that. But then at the same time, you know, they made it through the week. So these are people who didn't, who probably didn't have much experience before that came over here and in a week probably learned more than I did on my own in like two or three months. 
And so, and they felt comfortable with it enough to complete the challenge and move on. Um, so that's that's great right there. I mean, that goes to show you just how quickly you can retain knowledge when it's taught in a great way. And our instructor, uh, Josh Nell, he's amazing, honestly. Real chill dude. He's over here playing the banjo for us and everything, so <laughs> keeping us laughing and everything. So real chill dude, you know, it's not like a... Uh, uh, formal college and environment where everybody's serious and you have to sit there and just listen and hope that you're retaining everything you know he goes over a lot of stuff answers a bunch of questions um, he'll pretty much instruct for about 20 minutes and then take time off to answer any questions we have and then on on the meantime we also have PMs that answer questions we have other students that will help answer questions and stuff so I don't think at any point anybody asked anything so far this week that didn't get answered either by by uh, the instructor, a PM, or another student at least. So I think we've done pretty good so far. Um, there's a lot of people that talk about whether or not Lambda's a scam or something like that or too good to be true. And in all honesty, like I can't go based off of the entire school uh, school like seven months just off of week one. However, I will say that in one week, I've learned more uh, than I have in, in probably like at least two or three months of learning on my own. And so that to me is probably a lot more important than all the other stuff. Um, whether you'll get a job from the school, that's completely up to you. The school is not going to go out there and handhold you and tell you, hey, this is your job. You're going to work here now. Uh, just show up on Monday. You know, the school is not going to do that. Uh, they're gonna help you with their Lambda Next program. You know they have uh, people that'll help prep you for interviews, uh, help you negotiate your uh, your salary, things like that. Uh, they might tell you where to look or what uh, companies are uh, within the realm of what you want to work at, like what kind of field you want to work or where you want to work. But they're not gonna go out there and apply for you and do all the stuff for you. So that goes out the window. There, I don't think there's any boot camp out there that will do that for you. You know, you have to put in the work. And so <laughs> whether it's a scam or not, I don't think it's a scam. I, I mean, I just I don't think that if you if you're looking for a school that's going to get you a job like for you, you're not going to find that. Now, if you're going to if you're looking for a school that's going to prep you for a job and probably take you above and beyond as long as you're willing to put in the work then I think Lambda is the one for you. So uh, I think that uh, the CEO Austin also uh, released an announcement saying that they're uh, switching their the way that they accept people into the school. So they're going to be uh, pretty much building projects now as part of their uh, 101 bootcamp, which I think is awesome. And they're going to be accepting people based on these projects. Now, before they used to do it based on challenges. So you had to solve some JavaScript challenges. Um, now they're accepting people based on uh, who can complete the projects. So I haven't uh, I haven't seen all the details yet, but I think that's pretty good because for the most part, that's what you're gonna be doing when you get hired, and that's what you're gonna be doing throughout the school year. Like every like almost every day is a new project. So it's not like every week you're doing one project. You're doing a bunch of projects and you're like every day you're pushing up to github a new project and stuff so you're gonna be uh packed working on projects so yeah uh that's pretty much all i got if you guys have any questions or anything just put them down in the comments below and i'll do the best i can to answer them if not i'll find somebody that can all right so see you guys next time